hire him here. Yesterday I reloaded my uh, old videos that I did on the wet fire tinder using the wet fire stove. They were videos that I did back in 2000, excuse me, 2010. And I got a comment from David Otto Full. Is there an expiration date? Maybe these were sitting in the store for 10 years. See, the problem was the one uh, cube of fire, the wet fire tinder, didn't get the water to boiling. It only got it up in uh, like 6 minutes, 49 seconds. It got it up to 151 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I did the test again. Uh, that one ran for 8 minutes, 2 seconds, but it only got the water up to 143 degrees Fahrenheit. So I was kind of disappointed. Plus, it really sooted up the pot. So, David Autofull's question of, is there a expiration date? There's nothing on the packet. This is the one that I got back in 2010. Uh, I have two cubes left. One from the package, and then this one is the sample when it came with the stove, but this was like, they just included a little sliver. This thing weighed maybe half of what that one weighed. So I weighed them again. Earlier this was 5 grams. Now when I weigh it, it's 4.6 grams. So it looks like it's lost a little bit of weight. It must have dried a bit. And this one I never did have a weight on before that I can find. But even now it's only 0.7 grams. So oh, there's like nothing in this thing. What I want to do is I'll use up my last of my wet fire here. Do a test on this piece. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Now, you know, in my earlier videos, I had compared to how wet fire looks like it's the same thing as these Weber lighter cubes. Now this is one that I coated in wax. These, if they're left unprotected, some people were taking these out of the package and sticking the fuel in the bottom of some fire strikers and stuff and then they wondered why it didn't last. Same thing with this, if I had just the cube itself sitting on a shelf, it uh, ran out, it lost its use in a couple of months, but I coated them in wax and then these things lasted for years. So, let's. I always thought that if you left it in this package, it would stay just the way it is. Now it looks very much the same. Let me put it on there. See if I can get one of these green matches to light. Cool. Now the first time when I used these, they lit right up. Now there they go. Okay, so I have two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. So this is what the flames look like. It's still a nice flame. Now remember my first video on this was January of 2010. I can't find my receipt, but it means I got these sometime in 2009. So, uh, it still burns, but as you can see, I don't know, maybe you can see in this camera, the pot is really sooted up, and I'm only a minute into the test. This stuff really soots, but I'm willing to bet when I use the Weber Cube, it'll soot up too. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, I'm going to call it here at 8 minutes because the temperature is dropping. So let's just say 8 minutes even though the flame's still going. It's 161 degrees now. It got up to 163 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the conversions down in the text. But, oops, wrong switch. Uh, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Didn't come to a boil. I'll call it that it ran for eight minutes. A little bit longer than the other tests. But it only got the water up at the highest at 130, 163 degrees Fahrenheit. And then there's the other problem. Soot City. I mean this stuff is sooty. This will take some scrubbing to get this off. Now, I think the tinders are meant just for what their name was. That they were a tinder for starting fires. You know, stick it in your wood. Works real good. Hey, that kind of rhymes. 
but to make a stove for it eh, doesn't seem like the smartest idea. So now I'll scrub this stuff off, let everything cool down, and I'll come back and do another do a test using a I don't have them right here, but using a wet fire or Weber cube. Put this in the thing and see if we can get it up, get it up to boiling. Thing is, these are much bigger, so I'm not going to pare it down. I'm going to use one one basic cube. So I thank you for watching. I thank David Auto Full for his question. I don't think there's an expiration anywhere, but uh, as far as sitting in the store for 10 years, I think I got these pretty near the beginning of when they started making them. <coughs> but as long as you keep it in the package. It seems to, you know, work for what it's meant to. Can't talk today. So again, I thank you all for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.